So just a little, few little things to help you out with your RV or your camper trailer. Um, for instance, one of these little devices. As you can tell, over here, light goes on, light goes off. Do it from wherever you want, works around a 50 metres radius, great. So keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. This episode, I'm starting to call Tech Corner. But yeah. Tech Corner it's called. It's a segment which I'm going to bring in uh, now and then. Just little tips and tricks that you can actually do to your van, your trailer, just to make it more safe. Today it's uh, all about safety and putting some light on the situation. We're going to install today a, it's called a 12 volt learning type 4 remote control switch. Right, in other words it's a remote control for 12 volts. That's about it. Here's the plan to actually wire it all up. It's a pretty self-explanatory wiring diagram, but there is a thing you've really got to take note. Here's the thing that you've really got to take note. On here where the red wires, which go along in here, they're all connected. So you have to do loops. I'll show you very shortly on the item itself. It only switches the positive um, it doesn't switch to negative. You do have positive and negative going into this thing which is on the side here, which I haven't joined up to the positive negative yet, of course. Um, and then what you do with the positive, you loop it around to B, right in the middle. B, 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 B. And then what happens is each of the A's come out and they're the, they're the actual switch wire itself. So you've got to add positive to each one of them. It goes into this system and then comes back out through one of these wires. Yes. So this is the way, the proper way of wiring up. I'll show it to you a little bit more, if you can tell. All right, it's pretty easy. All right, when you do look at it, it doesn't tell you that little item right here is a load. That's the load, so negative goes here and that's load positive comes out. So pretty easy, they are loaded already. So as soon as you hit one, it works. So you don't have to, there is a button on here. It says um, learning and pairing button. Most of them already come out. As soon as you push them, they work. If they don't, it tells you how to get rid of it. You hold it for six seconds. No, it's more like seven seconds. Um, hold it, light comes back on, wipes all the memory, start again, easy. Make sure you wire it up right. Let's get to it. These are the little lights I'm using. They're little beauties, aren't they? Tiny little thing, 30 watts. So each of these bulbs, LED lights are five watts each. So you add them all up, gives you 30 watts. Um, it gives uh, 6,500 looms, which is a fairly big um, lot of light, what, what you need. It's an aluminium case, it's good sturdy. It's um, IP68 means it's a waterproof rating. Um, so it is waterproof for outside. It is pretty, they are pretty sturdy. And they, they look like they do, they are built nicely. Um, apparently the lifespan of these is 50,000 hours. So I think they'll probably outlast me. Uh, they're four inches, so they're not that big. They're very small. They weigh 300 grams, so they're not very heavy at all. So they're good tiny little compact things. They come with a screw on the back. You can see them sliding down like that. You put your bolts in there and you adjust the thing. There's a bracket um, that comes with it. And you put a curved bracket and it turns like so. But good little lights. Let's have a go. Right, we're at a stage at the moment where everything's a mess. Everything's everywhere. And I'm running the cables to where it needs to go. We'll get back to you soon. I had a bit of a problem about getting the wire outside the door. Now the door's got a good seal on it uh, and you don't want to really break that seal. So what I had to do is actually drill a hole in the roof, which I'm really hesitant about doing, about uh, letting in water, but I have got a fake roof over it. And if you put enough silicon around it, it should be all right. I hope so. About to put the wire through, run it all through, connect it, 
wait till it's all secure before you run the silicon because if the silicon is wet and you're moving the cable it's just not going to create a good seal so remember when you do put it through finish it all off first tie it all down so it's not going to move then silicon right i've run the wire here's the wire that goes i know there's a fair bit of wire there at the moment but it runs up along the side along the side up the top Right, I've put a hole in the roof as you can tell now I've got to silicon up as you can see a bit of light up there I have put a bit of tape in there just to hold it so it doesn't even move around like I said before make sure everything is held down before you put the silicon on because if you don't it starts moving around and you eventually get leaks in your van or if not your trailer that way in there what I've done here is if you have a look up here I've wired up a light which signs at the back of the trailer so it can help you in reversing and it can also help you with security problems what I've done is I've hooked the positive up with the positive and made it loop all around right to the end easy done and now all I have to do is wire up the negative which is in there right -o. there's your negative into the negative side and that's going to run out straight to the buzz bar which is a negative buzz bar everything joined to the negative and then run it from there it's a lot easier right finished product if you have a quick look yeah finished product like i said that fitting i used plastic just behind there so you've only got plastic on metal so which is which acts as an insulator between the two items so you don't short it out to screws touching the back like I've done before, you have your positive coming in, which is this one here, goes into the item, but also starts to loop every one. So and then you take the uh, number A, which you'll read in the diagram as it says, each one of those is positive. So what I've done is wired it up to a 10 amp fuses, to it, which goes to the light outside. Cheers, biggies. Thanks for watching. So if you like the episode, give us a thumbs up. Turn your notifications on. Please prescribe. See you next time with a bit of tips and tricks from Tech, Tech Corner. Corner. I hope this episode gave you a bit of an incentive to do something with your van. It's easy enough done. I'll be doing a lot more in the future just to upgrade my van up. Just things that I come across that I thought were quite easy. I'll let you know what they're like and you never know. And even you might buy one of these and try them out. They do work. I don't know how much power you can actually run through them, but I'll let you know if I have a problem with it or not through my episodes. A little tip to have for in security outside your van. You don't have to go outside to turn the light on. You can actually wire four lights up to it if you really wanted to, or you can actually do other things, siren, speaker, whatever turns your fancy, whatever's 12 volt, whatever you can find 12 volt. So, there you go. Talk to you soon, campers. Have a good weekend.